You know, we have all of this, this, this heritage left. Um, we are trying um, urgently to try to, to uh, count the buildings, to have a proper survey, to understand what is there, uh, to survey as many of the different buildings as possible. Um, but as I had mentioned before, over the past 20 years, there has been a lot of construction. The pace has quickened at different times in the early 90s and, and more recently in the, in the uh, late 2000s. Um, and we have many examples of buildings that have been built that um, have no, uh, that were built without any sort of sympathy for the, for the surrounding environment. One of the most important things uh, to think about was not simply the buildings themselves, but the history behind these buildings and the, and the importance of the, of the historical landscape as well. It's so also um, important for a second reason, which is this amazing multi-faith diversity. And it always surprises me that you know, many people in Rangoon or in Burma don't realize what a special thing this is. If you go to you know, this square mile in downtown Rangoon, you have this Anglican cathedral, you have the Roman Catholic cathedral, you have at least half a dozen other Christian churches, Methodist, Presbyterian, Baptist. You have over half a dozen mosques, Sunni, Shia, Bora. You have Hindu temples, Chinese temples, the Jewish synagogue, um, Jain, Parsi, Sikh temples, as well as the Buddhist uh, pagodas and monasteries in a square mile. And you know, I say to a lot of people in Rangoon, you know, this doesn't exist any, almost anywhere else. I think even in New York, you know, getting Rangoon right, um, the urban planning of Rangoon, the vision for Rangoon, is an incredibly important thing that in the future, looking 10 years ahead, 20 years ahead, Rangoon will remain the most important city in the country. It will be the commercial capital and has to be the economic driver of the country. Uh, we have this amazing heritage, this amazing potential. If we can make Rangoon the most attractive, beautiful, livable city in Asia or in Southeast Asia, this is an asset that's worth billions of dollars going forward. You know, we have this amazing potential. I mean, this is the last city like this in Asia. Uh, it's a tremendous asset for Burma, for the Burmese economy. It's important to our history and everything else. But we have a very small window. Um, there is a huge amount of demand for office space, for housing. Uh, there are construction companies that would very much like to raise all of these buildings and build new buildings, uh, newer, cheaper buildings that can house more people. Um, you have the government that in this more open environment is under all kinds of different political pressures. Right now, you have people in key positions in the government who are asking what to do. Um, I think if we lose this window over the coming six months, 12 months, it'll be very hard to get back to this point in the future.